News coming in from Karnataka now, where the BJP in the state has tweeted a picture of a meeting that was held for the civic body in Bengaluru, which is the BBMP. They've now questioned the presence of Randeep Singh Surjewala at this particular meeting. The BJP taking to Twitter, going on to say, what is the secret of ATM Sarkara's secret meeting? Congress state in charge, Randeep Surjewala, who has no official relationship with either the state government or the BBMP, has nothing to do with the top officials. Is this the 85% deal-fixing meeting? That's the allegation that uh, the BJP is now making against the Congress party. Remember, on the plank of corruption, while the Congress maintained its campaign on the 40% Sarkara, commission, commission Sarkara campaign against the BJP, the BJP has been claiming that Congress has always been an 85% commission Sarkar, which is an allegation that they are making yet again. Ritu, my colleague, joining us for more details. Ritu, put, in this, put this in context for our viewers. This meeting was specifically for uh, the BBMP's management. Is that so? And why was uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala there? So yes, you see the Ranji, uh, Ran, uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala in fact was here in the Karnataka today and in Bangalore this whole meeting took place in a uh, hotel that we can see in a visual right now which has been tweeted by the Karnataka BJP. Now they have gone on to question that what is the relationship between Ran, uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala and also the civic body officials because in the picture, you can see the BBMP chief, Kishar Girinath, and also other officials of the civic body, and therein also other ministers and few Congress leaders as well, who were part of this meeting. So, in specifically, now the BJP is questioning that what is a requirement and what authority or power does the, the Ranjit Singh Sudewala also have to be part of this particular meeting. Now, what kind of alleged deal that was being fixed here is what is the Karnataka BJP questioning. But meanwhile, you see the Congress leaders are... Uh, who were part of this meeting came out to say that the, in the meeting they discussed about the war delimitation, which is going on from a quite a long time, the kind of discussions that are taking place because now the Karnataka Congress is very much committed that they want to ensure that the BBMP elections take place at the right time, which hasn't happened in the past two and a half years. So that's the reason that civic apathy uh, instances are coming to the light across the city. So they don't want that situation to continue forward. So the meeting meeting was also about that and also other issues were also discussed in this uh, particular meeting. But however, now BJP coming out and particularly questioning about the, uh, and the, the, the presence of the uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala and where the civic uh, body officials were also present. So what is the relationship between them and why does Randeep Singh Surjewala have to be part of this meeting is what they are questioning. So yes, the Karnataka Congress is in a fix. They will have to come out and answer about this particular question that has been raised by the BJP now. Absolutely. These are allegations that the BJP has made in the past as well with different uh, leaders, different states, of why certain leaders were present uh, during cabinet meetings or during uh, meetings like these that were held where none of these leaders have a position or a say. Despite that, in this particular instance, as far as the BBMP goes, which is a civic body in Bengaluru, there is a meeting that was convened. There is hectic activity as far as uh, restructuring of uh, the BBMP is also concerned. Why was Randeep Surjewala, the Karnataka uh, Congress in charge there? That's the question that the BJP is raising. S. Prakash of the BJP now joins us on this broadcast. Uh, sir, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. We've seen the tweet that your party has put out uh, making some allegations of why Mr. Surjewala was there uh, at this particular event. What do you expect from the Congress party to sir? Do you think there is going to be an explanation that would come to the fore? First of all, Mr. Surjewala is a defeated Haryana can uh, Congress candidate. He has no local standing to attend any formal meeting in the Karnataka government. His presence in the BBMP meeting is unacceptable and beyond and unconstitutional also. The Congress party should clarify whether the Karnataka government is ruled by the elected representative of the Congress MLS or by the uh, nominated uh, office bearers of the Congress uh, Delhi uh, Congress office bearers. This has to be clarified by the party to the people of Karnataka. And also, Mr. Siddharam should owe an apology for making Surjewala part of the BBMP's official meeting, who has no local standard to even present there. Hmm. He is interfering in the day-to-day -day administration of Karnataka, which is, which is beyond his limits, and he should know his uh, boundary. Let him go to Haryana, win the election first, then dictate the terms to the people of Karnataka. Sure. Do stay on with me. I have uh, Congressman Sanket Yanagi as well, and I'll let him uh, answer the questions that you are raising. 
Uh, we've seen this picture that has been put out now, uh, Sanket Yanagi, by the BJP. We're given to understand this is a meeting of uh, the BBMP. Would you like to tell us why Randeep Surjewala, the Congress is in charge, was there? First of all, we need to verify as to whether that photograph which has been reflected in the BJP handle is genuine or not, because they are known for fake propaganda, and uh, so they know for photoshopping, it's a photoshopping party, firstly, that we need to verify the authenticity of it. And we also need to verify as to whether it is an official meeting of the, BJ, the BBMP or something else, or whether it's a photoshopped photo. And thirdly, Mr. Surjewala, as Mr. Prakash has said, that he is defeated the MLA or something like that, he said it is not. He is a sitting member of the parliament. He should understand, unlike Mr. Prakash, who is nothing in the party. And fourthly, I would say... Hey, don't talk like he a joker, Mr. Is, Yenagi. He is a nominated Rajya Sabha member. He lost that also. Mr. Espikash, you had your time. Let oh, Mr. Sagit Yenagi go ahead. You had your time. Your time is over. Now you have to leave it to the others. Please understand this decently. And next point which I am trying to make is... When Mr. Surjewala is in charge of the state of Karnataka as a general secretary, we still have to verify whether he is sitting as a general secretary for the preparation of the party for the BBMP elections. So the, we need to verify all these things and we may have to reply to that. Just because BJP posts something in its Twitter, so. we can't say that it is genuine. Because we know what the BJP is and today Twitter's former... Uh, Head has also said as to how the BJP handles it. I don't have to say anything more on this. Sure. Yes. So the veracity needs to be uh, checked first and uh, only then perhaps we'll get a response from the Congress party as to why exactly Mr. Surjewala was there if it was an official meeting of uh, the BBMP. Ms. Riyanagi, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Whether this becomes the latest flashpoint in Karnataka between the Congress and the BJP, we'll keep an eye out on that. Before now, a quick break.